This is Tom Clout with my Precious Metals Market Update. First of all, I want to wish each one of you a happy new year as we move into a year that I feel is unprecedented in the history of the world. And uh, economically, what's going on with wars, what's going on with the U.S. dollar, what's going on with deficits. And even though we've talked about them in the past, I want to bring it up to date. And then in two weeks, as I do this show every two weeks, I want to start talking about product, which I probably haven't talked about enough. I've looked at it more from the economic reasons people can follow and see what's going on in the world and what's going on with gold and the U.S. dollar and the stock market and the bond market. And look at all this because it all is interactive. It's uh, it's very important that you know what, what are these uh, figures stand. So let's start out uh, with... Uh, record debt. We've sat here and talked about this for three or four years. We've watched the debt deficit go from $20 trillion to over $34 trillion with no sight uh, of it stopping. It just keeps running away and it puts us in more and more debt. Do you realize this $34 trillion debt that we just hit is bigger than the GDP, the gross domestic product of, J of China, uh, 17 trillion, Japan 4 trillion, India 3 trillion, England 3 trillion. All those added together is, is the U.S. We continue to create money out of thin air at rates that have never been seen or heard. We've got another major situation going on with Congress right now as they try to also keep, keep the government alive and not have to close it down. And we look at it and say, we've just hit another trillion to 34. And already in three months, start of, of uh, 2024 fiscal year, started on October 1, we've already got a $500 billion deficit. So if we do $500 billion four quarters, then we have... Uh, another uh, two trillion to put in there because we've never had a two trillion, never had a two trillion dollar deficit. One point seven last year is the biggest ever, but now we're looking at two trillion, not one point seven. So this is something you've got to look at and realize that it's around the corner. And the deficit uh, since 1971, we've seen the dollar drop. 87%, let me say that again, 87% the value of the dollar. You need to ask yourself, how much longer will the dollar exist? We've watched it go from 123 down to 103 this morning. I looked at it and checked it as I do just about every day. And as I've said many times, when it breaks below 100, it's gone from 123 to 103. We're almost there, and when it does, you're going to see the dollar uh, going way down and inflation going up. Uh, it's going to be something to behold. And recently, Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Good Father, Bad Dad, um, says that he's looking for gold next time of $3,700 per ounce and silver $68. I agree with him. I think those numbers will be taken out. We're sitting there at 20, 23 on silver. So if it triples, you're talking about it basically going to $68, $70. And I do think that's where silver's going. Silver's lag behind gold. We've now seen a ratio up to 88 to 1, where historically it's around 50 to 1. Gold is right now 88 times more valuable than silver. And yet we think that it's headed it's in the turning process right now. So it's a great time to add silver to your portfolio. Um, recently, the, P, the Peter, one of y'all that follow Peter Peterson Foundation, uh, the interest rate uh, hit two billion, as we talked about, and what the, int the interest on the debt, interest. Remember, if you've got $34 trillion of debt and you're averaging 3%, over your treasury bonds, 
treasury bills and treasury notes, then it's a hundred billion dollars of interest. Now, three years ago, the interest on the debt because interest rates were two percent lower was only three hundred and fifty billion. The interest on the debt has tripled because the interest rates have gone up and the debt's gone up. It can't it can't keep going. It is going to crash. And the right thing to be in is gold. Gold is money. I don't know what percentage you have in gold, if any, but I would strongly urge you to get a percentage in gold. Talk to us. I'm available. Dan's available. Catherine's available. We think it's very important this year you get set up because it's going to be a great year. Last year we had gold up 13%. Now, silver uh, trailed that. It was only about 2 or 3%, but gold was up 13%, and I look for another double-digit year. We continue to see the central banks coming in. We see now that they can own gold through Basel III. You can read about Basel III on the Internet and see why gold is so important when it can be kept at true value where only gold in U.S. and G7 treasuries can count is, is the full value. So we look at that as very, very important. Um, the dollar index, when it does go down, expect for every 1% it goes down, gold will go up too. So if it goes from 103 today, and I say it goes to 95, that's 8%, time to you can have a 16% gain in gold. And that's where uh, it, it's, it's headed. I mean, gold is headed to a much higher figure because more and more people are moving in and central banks are buying it, especially the central banks of China, Russia, India, Argentina, and Turkey. Those are the big ones buying right now. And we think they'll continue to do that. Um, breaking, uh, we now see in banking in Switzerland, it's an article that a client sent me. They're now taught to worry about the bank balance sheets. You have to go and look after Credit Suisse, one of the 10 largest banks in the world, had to be put with UBS because they were going under. They were gone under, technically. So now they, they make you. You have to, in Switzerland, follow the bank where you can't say it was your fault it went under. You didn't know anything about it. You're mandated. You follow, you follow the banking situation and, and can you meet the stress test? We've got over 100 banks in the U.S. that are ready to go under, and we see a lot of articles on people think they'll go under uh, sometime between now and the end of the summer. I think there's a good chance we'll start seeing more banks. We've only seen five last year, um, and we think we'll see more than that this year, probably uh, more toward the summer or the spring uh, before you'll see more about it. But it's very important. But the article that, that touched me the most was an article sent to me by a client that used a person making a, a family making a hundred thousand dollars gross. Okay, to make I'm just gonna go through this quickly. So a hundred thousand dollars, twenty-five thousand in taxes between federal and state. So now they got seventy-five thousand to spend the last now, two years, two years, the cost of maintaining the same standard of living has gone up $11,208. So that's over 5000 a year or over 5% per year more. And, of course, it compounds because you're paying, you're paying less and less the value of it, of what you're holding in the spending power and inflation. So you end up going... And then all of a sudden, you can't meet ends. If the government doesn't devalue through inflation, which they're doing by printing more money, and debt, we're going to have a trillions printed because of all the debt going on around the world, and we're the biggest debtor in the world by far. What happens when China and Russia look at, we're out there looking at this debt of $34 trillion dollars, and they decide they want to sell their treasury, bills, bonds, and notes. So what happens? 
we know what what happens. It goes, it, it can't do. You just see it go, and people move out of U.S. dollars and into gold. I mean, that's what's going on. I mean, gold is becoming a ma master part of your portfolio. It becomes the, the floor. It becomes the number one thing to own. It's accepted anywhere in the world. Uh, but that's what's important to me, and I just hope that you'll call our office, talk to Dan, Catherine, or I. We can be reached at 800 247 2812. They'll be, we'll be bringing deals to you in the first quarter in gold, silver, and I'm working on a buy signal that we'll talk about in two weeks. Got a metal right on the cusp of uh, being some metal that we've recommended 300 and saw it go to 3,000, and now it's back to 1,000. So you can guess what it is. In fact, I would urge you to do your own homework before I start talking about it in a couple of weeks, and that's palladium. We've had, we made a lot of money in palladium over a decade, and we made, as I said, we saw it go up 10 times, and we're going to talk about where we think that is in the next episode of this in two weeks. So anyway, hopefully we've got the economic stuff back up to date, and we see that the massive problems that we're having and hope that you'll seek uh, refuge and get there and get what you want in precious metals. But I definitely would say up your percentage this year because I don't think if you can find a better investment, I'm not talking about one stock, but you can find a better investment than gold, you better buy it because it's going to take a double digit return plus to equal what goes down the last two years and what it's going to do this year. Once again, in my opinion. All right. So once again, our, you can be reached at 800-247-2812. With my Precious Metals Market Update, this is Tom Cloud signing out.